So, um, let me just, so I won't get, oh, I wanted to read a quotation, that's why I wanted to pull this out because I don't want to misquote. But this was, um, uh, to quote Tura Lundgren, a well-known Swedish glass art and ceramic artist, she writes, the Finns possess a primitive artistic instinct which, with, with which their creations are charged. It is a mysterious mixture of magic and melancholy of the wilderness, of brilliant colors and rapt grayness, a yearning for beauty and tenacious strength. I believe that all Finns have trees in their souls. Um, such is the love and respect for our forest, which for centuries have been uh, considered the greatest national treasure. Finns, of course, have carved beauty and loved the food from trees for centuries. And the very essence of Finnish, Finnish uh, the very essence of Finnish nature uh, is, um, of, of juniper, is compared to a juniper tree for its tenacious strength and stubbornness and uh, ability to, to survive in, in uh, harsh conditions. So much of my work um, deals with childhood memories, hazy landscapes, which you probably, well, they're past now, but you, you, there were some hazy landscapes there, and still lives of familiar objects. Um, I might place, though, a um, exotic bird in a very wintry, barren landscape, or I might transport a, uh, a finished building to a Cambridge park, so I have combined some things that way. My sculptures um, often depict uh, members of my family, or uh, I have borrowed some characters from Kalevala or fairy tale as well. Um, I have um, used the bird in many of my images, as you have seen the show and, and in many of my past images. Sometimes I make the bird and uh, sometimes I use the actual bird. I think the bird in its pale splendor is such a beautiful tree that when I, when I go to Finland, uh, I go there usually in the spring and I, uh, when I see the Birch forests. Um, I'm always so um, taken by their beauty, and they stand there like soldiers in a noble army, ready to defend the the motherland. Um, we have in my studio building. We have an um, annual open studios when a lot of people come and just walk through and sometimes, must look, but sometimes they buy too. And uh, last May, um, it's a whole weekend and so we had a lot of people coming. Last May, there was a Russian man who was looking at my work and he said to me, what's with all the birches? And I said, well, they symbolize Finland to me. And he said, no, they symbolize Russia. So we had this little argument, and of course we could not agree who owned the birch, but uh, it, didn't, it didn't start a third world war. So, um, naturally, my uh, work has been influenced by many other things as well, not just the Finnish elements. Um, I have traveled a bit, and of course I have lived on foreign soil much longer than I lived in Finland, but the, my core <coughs> remains very strongly Finnish, um, and it shows in my work sometimes clearly and often, um, maybe just in very subtle ways. So that's about all, and you can see my work. There's a, um, a lot of the work has been also of a sort of personal symbolism. It's not that I walked in the, on the uh, roads carrying sticks necessarily, but it symbolizes something. This, my grandmother was a um, farmer and she did milk cows. <coughs> There's a tree from Lapland, and, and so a lot of this stuff really does have something to do with what I've seen, what I've experienced. Um, my newer work is somewhat different and it comes from a different source, but you can 
look at my new work, newer work in the in the gallery and, um, and and make up your own mind how you feel about that. So that's about it. If you have any questions, you can ask me about the gallery. So I hope you come and show me, show me looking at the work. <laughs>